focusing on women's health, specifically birth control, which is a very personal decision. Now, while the pill has been the mainstay for generations, women today are increasingly aware of the risks associated with the estrogen levels in many of the pills available. Joining me virtually is Dr. Jessica Shepard, a Dallas-based gynecologist from Baylor Scott and White Health, and we're also going to meet two of her patients to learn more about their birth control preferences. Good morning, Dr. Shepard. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, Olga. Great to see you. Great to have you, doctor. So, doctor, what do you see as the biggest challenges with the birth control options that have been available to you and, of course, your patients? As a gynecologist, contraceptive options are one of the things that we discuss with our patients all the time. And historically, what we've seen is that there are challenges and obstacles when we want to give our patients the right option for birth control methods. Now, when we think of estrogen-containing contraceptives, we know that there are slight increased risk for any DVTs or pulmonary embolism. And also, when we think of patients who have a higher BMI, we know that they're not as efficacious. And so we want birth control options that will address all of those factors and not make them risk factors. And when we think of progestin-only birth control options, we know that patients have complaints of irregular bleeding. And when they have to meet that strict three-hour dosing window, that's almost impossible to comply with. Doctor, you mentioned a variety of patients uh, who may be seeking an alternative to better address their medical needs and lifestyle. Do you see these types of patients? In my practice, I see all types of women, and what they're looking for are modern and contemporary options in order to prevent pregnancy. My patients are looking for an option that is effective, safe for those who cannot take an estrogen-containing birth control, and also maintains their cycle well. Doctor, let's hear from two of your patients. It was important for me to take an estrogen-free oral contraceptive because I am a new mom. I am still currently breastfeeding my 15-month-old baby boy, and additionally, I have a history of DVT or blood clots. Dr. Shepard prescribed Slyn. I've been taking it since December of 2020. It's been great for our family planning, and I will continue taking it until we decide to conceive again. So my periods used to last anywhere between five to seven days. Now they're ranging anywhere between three to four. They're light, they're regular. Now I feel great. I'm a mom. It's been a blessing having my son here, considering we had such a struggle during our journey to reach this point, so I'm just embracing the moment and enjoying motherhood. So I've known Dr. Shepard for three years now. Um, we have a great relationship. Honestly, any decision that she makes with my health, I completely trust her with it. Dr. Shepard prescribed Slint for me about a year ago. It has helped me not retain as much water. My cycles are about three to four days long. Now, doctor, for both women and each with unique medical needs, you chose a progestin-only birth control. Why? Yes, I prescribe Slind, a progestin-only birth control pill. It's a novel introduction to contraceptive health. It can also dramatically improve the pill experience for many women. Slind is a safe and effective form of birth control that is supported by extensive clinical studies. Also, Slind offers patients more flexibility with its 24-hour missed pill window in comparison to other progestin-only pills that have a three-hour window. Now, for Ashley, a new breastfeeding mom who has a history of a DVT, she needs a progestin-only pill option until she and her husband are ready to try for another child. And for Caitlin, who has a higher BMI, I felt Slind was the right choice for her in order to address her fluid retention and also her heavy cycles. Also, Slind is a great option for many women. Women who are breastfeeding, young adolescent women, smokers, also have cardiovascular risk, a higher BMI, and for women who just want less hormones in their birth control options. So, doctor, bottom line, it's a great choice for both patients and physicians. Do not take Slind if you have kidney disease or kidney failure, reduced adrenal gland function, cervical cancer or any hormone sensitive cancer, liver disease or unexplained vaginal bleeding. Be sure to tell your doctor about all the medicines you take and all your medical conditions, especially if you have had blood clots, high levels of potassium in your blood or may be pregnant. Slind does not protect against HIV, AIDS and other sexually transmitted diseases.
Common side effects are acne, menstrual cramps, headache, breast pain and tenderness, weight gain, nausea, severe vaginal bleeding, less sexual desire, and irregular menstruation. I have complete faith in Dr. Shepard in knowing that we made the best decision for me to make this an all-around positive experience. I'm really happy about my switch to Slynn. I'm glad Dr. Shepard recommended it for me. With Slynn, many of my patients can now benefit from an estrogen-free pill that better fits their lifestyle and needs than previously available options. Thank you, Dr. Shepard, for your time and all the information. Thanks, Olga. Appreciate being here. And of course, our thanks to Ashley and Caitlin. We wish them well. For more information on Slynn, just go to their website, slynn.com, or check out our website, thebalancingact.com.